find cos 1 2 3 0 to find this we should follow this method c here we have 1 2 3 0 now you should check 1 2 3 0 lies between which two multiples of 180 what i mean is 1 2 3 0 lies between 1080 and 1260. This is 180 into 6. This is 180 into 7. Between these two numbers, 1230 lies. Next, 1230 is close to which number? This is close to 1260. So this now should be written as 1260 minus 30. So this will become cos in place of this. Now we should write this 1260 minus 30. This is your step 1. Next. Cos. Now in place of this we should write 7 into 180 minus 30. Next, here we have 180. So, cos is not going to change, it will remain cos, and inside we get this angle 30. Now, the question is will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, we should look at the number before 180, that is 7, and 7 is odd, and all the odd multiples of 180, they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant. So now to select the quadrant, we should look at this symbol. Here we have negative. That means angle lies in the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, cos is negative. So we should put negative. So negative cos 30 is root 3 by 2. This is our answer.